Welcome to the 2024.2 new feature videos. In this video, we will look at the GoZ plugin improvements. You can download GoZ plugin for your operating system in the GoZ manual page by clicking Install GoZ in the Help tab on the main menu. Unzip the downloaded zip folder. Then you will get a packaged folder named Marvelous Designer. Move the packaged folder in the following directory. Run ZBrush. Go to Main Menu, Preference, Go Z, and click Path to Marvelous Designer. You will see the pop-up window displaying lists of different versions of Marvelous Designer. Click the version's path you will be using. If a security warning window pops up, click Run. Once installation is done, run Marvelous Designer. Now you should see a Go Z tab in the Main Menu. When exporting to ZBrush, go to Main Menu, Go Z, and click Export to ZBrush. The Exporting ZBrush window pops up and you will see that it's divided into two different areas. The Object area provides options to select and deselect avatars, patterns, trims, and scene and props to export. Unweld and Weld options is for whether you want your sewing lines to be detached or attached. You also have options for exporting thickness of your garments. In the basic area, you could choose which scales you want your patterns to be exported. I will export. You could see how we have each item with different names in the subtool menu, and polygroups are automatically assigned. In the Import Go Z window, you have Load Type, Object Type, and Scale options. In Load Type, you have the option to select Open to import your items to a new project file, or Add to import your items into existing project file. The Object Type option has Avatar, Trim, Garment, and Scene and Props options. You are choosing whether you want to treat your object as an Avatar, Trim, Garment, or Scene and Props. Lastly, you have Scale options to choose which scale you want your avatar to be exported to. Here we import a character from ZBrush to Marvelous Designer. There is Go Z All and Visible buttons. I will click Go Z to simply export my character. Since we have set object type as avatar, we are going to treat this character mesh as an avatar in Marvelous Designer. 